Here's my review for Fantastic Mr. Fox, uh, starring George Clooney, Meryl Streep, Bill Murray, and about two sentences from Owen Wilson. Now, yeah, people have been asking me, oh, are you going to see this? Oh, are you going to see this? Are you going to see this? Well, seeing that it hasn't been in my theaters at all, at all, and I've been saving at all, just completely never in my theater. And also, I'm saving up money to go see uh, Avatar and IMAX. Uh, yes. I decided I had to. I'm sorry for the people that think it's wrong, but I don't really care. I downloaded it. And I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you where. Don't ask me either. But yeah. Anyway, I have to get on to the review. I know. I'm professional already in the beginning. I told you that I downloaded it. But I'm coming clean. So now let's go into story. I, I have three, uh, parts in this. Story, acting, and uh, animation in this one. Third one's always random. Okay, now the story in this is pretty simple. Uh, Mr. Fox, who is played by George Clooney, or I'm sorry, voiced by George Clooney, is pretty much, you could kind of say, at an addict. In the beginning, it shows him and his wife, played by Meryl Streep, Miss Fox. Yeah, clever. Uh, <laughs> no one actually has a real name. Everybody's just Fox, that, Badger, this, that. Oh, only one, no, only two people actually have real names. It's like Ash and, I forgot the other guy, uh, Christopherson. There you go, yeah. Chris Christopherson. <laughs> he's in this movie. Anyway, yeah. The story goes like this. Uh, Mr. He's a, he's an addict for pretty much catching chickens. He's, he, he's a thief. He's good at it. So he's an addict. In the beginning, him and his wife are stealing chickens, killing them, eating them. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, and he gets caught. His wife tells him, Alright, I'm pregnant. If we ever get out of this trap, you will promise me never to do this again. Okay, we will stop and find something else. So he does, he becomes a newspaper writer. Don't ask me, he's a fox, I know. But <laughs> it doesn't a lot of, a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. Okay, it's stop motion by the way, so don't expect it to make a lot of sense. Uh at least animation wise. Uh yeah, so yeah, Mr. Fox is a news reporter reporting live in on a scene. Well, he's not a news reporter. He's a he's an article writer. So yeah, he's going blah blah blah. This is boring. He wants to go kill chickens again and steal them, eat them, you know, embody their soul and all that stuff. All that fox stuff. I don't know. I ain't a fox. So yeah, he does that. He gets caught. The farmers are mad. He wants him dead. So now he has to find out a way to stop the farmers before he kills him and ever all of his friends. Let's go into acting. I thought the story was good. Uh, I thought it was good. It was just there. Okay. So let's go on to story. Okay, now the acting in this movie, like I said before, George Clooney's in this, and he does a really good job as Mr. Fox. Um, Meryl Streep also, they both do really good. Uh, I thought Meryl Streep would be in this a little bit more, but she isn't, but she's definitely the second star, because she's in this more than anybody else besides George, George Clooney. Uh, Jason Schwartzman's in this, he plays the son. Uh... Bill Murray is in this. He plays the uh, lawyer Badger, I think he is. I think he's a Badger. Uh, yeah, he's a Badger. Uh, also, William Defoe is in this. Willem. I'm sorry, I always screw that up. I always say William. Uh, Willem Defoe is in this. He plays Rat. Yes, yeah, very clever. Uh, and he's pretty good. He has a short role. Uh, let's talk about short roles. Owen Wilson has probably one of the shortest roles ever for a big star in a big movie. Okay? It's not even a cameo. It's like. Uh, like Review Guru told me, like it pretty much says George Clooney, Meryl Streep, Bill Murray, and Owen Wilson. And Owen Wilson is in this for about two minutes, if that. It's like uh, Owen Wilson and Wes Anderson was talking, like, "Hey man, we did Darjeeling Limited, and you're in it. I wanted to know if you'll be in a in a, my next movie, Fantastic Mr. Fox." Well, uh, I don't like that name. I don't know where I got that. That sounded like Al Gore, <laughs> or or. I don't know how I got Owen Wilson to Al Gore, okay? I don't know. I'll just forget about that. And he's not gay, too. A gay Al Gore. <laughs> Al Gay. No, that's not good. Uh, gay Gore. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you know what? Let me just go on. Okay, the acting's good. I'll just say it right there. I thought the acting was good. <laughs> gay Gore. What the fuck? Okay, now the animation in this movie I thought was uh really good. I mean, a lot of people are not going to like stop motion, but... Even though there's a liveliness in the characters' eyes and just the way they look, the fur, they're, they're very furry characters, by the way. I just thought it looked really good, the animation, at least animation-wise. So, 
I'm not going to talk much about animation. I'm just going to say it's really good. I mean, I, I like stop motion altogether. I love Chicken Run. I love Wallace and Gromit. So I love this. Okay, overall, I think it's a great movie. It's great fun. And it should be seen in a theater if it's near you. It's not in mine, so I had to download it. Illegally download it. Uh, I didn't really download it. I just clicked on play and it started playing. So it's not really downloading, but whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah. I like the movie. That's pretty much what I'm going to say. I, it's not my favorite anime movie. I even thought Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and Up was better. But I'm going to be a little more strict on my reviews because I've been noticing that I've been given a lot of movies high 8s and 9s and stuff when they really shouldn't deserve it. So I might go back and do other reviews, maybe just like short ones and tell you my real score. Alright, so I'm going to be a little bit more strict with this. I'm going to give it 8.4 out of 10. Yeah, I know. Even though there's a couple problems, like it just gets a little too silly sometimes, and uh, some characters don't get fleshed out at all, like Owen Wilson's character. He just get vanishes out of nowhere. Uh, some characters just vanish out, like, oh, yeah, okay, there, oh, he's gone, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't like some parts about it, and it was a little short, and the human characters, it only focused on one human character. I would like to see maybe the other characters being foco focused on, because there's three of them. The other two are just like, you know, back there doing stuff. And the main one is like a Hitler kind of type of character. He's like, I hate foxes. I kill them all. <laughs> He's like, ah, bon fox, bon. Hey, now, dude, I mean, no foxing. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop there. It, it, it's Hanukkah, by the way. So I'm just going to stop talking about that. Anyway, it's a good movie. Definitely go check it out. It's a great movie, actually. Go check it out. Like I said before, I'm going to be a little bit more strict. So, yeah, thank you and goodbye.